So I'd like to give you a simple example of working that out. And it's the system x equals uh, x prime equals x plus 2y and y prime equals minus x minus y. Uh, okay, so uh, because it's springtime, even it doesn't feel like spring, but it will this weekend. Uh, it's getting warmer. So, uh, and since when I can't do, uh, when I'm too tired to make up problem sets for you, uh, late at night I watch reruns of Seinfeld. Uh, <laughs> I'm from New York. It's just in my bloodstream. Uh, so, so of course, the most interesting character on Seinfeld is uh, George. So uh, we're going to consider Susan, who's the girlfriend who got killed by licking envelopes, uh, poison <laughs> envelopes, uh, and George, uh, who carried on their love affair until Susan was disposed of by the writers by uh, this strange death. Uh, and uh, we're going to consider X as modeling Susan's love for George. <laughs> Susan's love for George. Uh, that's X and George's love for Susan. That will be Y. Now, I don't mean the absolute love. So if X and Y are zero, if X and Y are zero, I don't mean that they don't love each other. I just mean that that's the equilibrium value of the love. Uh, everything else is measured as departures from that. So zero, zero represents the normal state, the normal amount of love. If love is measured, I don't know what love units are, but hearts, I guess, and six hearts, let's say. Now, why, in what sense does this model it? Well, uh, this is a normal equation, and this is a neurotic equation. That's why this is George, and that's, that's a, this is Susan, who seemed very normal to me. You know, Susan's a normal person. When Y is positive, that means George seems to be loving her more today than yesterday, and her natural response is to be more in love with him. Yeah, that's who may, most people are. Uh, if, 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 uh, if Y is negative, you know, he, uh, hey, what's the matter with George? You know, you don't feel so good. Well, she, well, maybe something wrong with him. You know, he, she gets mad, a little mad at him, and this goes down. X prime is negative. And the same way, why is this positive? Well, it's because, again, it's a psychological thing, but uh, all the world loves a lover. Uh, when uh, when uh, Susan's in love, uh, uh, she, as she feels X is high, that makes her feel good. And, you know, she loves everything, in fact, not just George. She, it's, it's one of those things. You all know what I'm talking about. Uh, now, George is, of course, is what makes the uh, writers happy. Uh, George is neurotic, and therefore, and therefore he, uh, his, uh, he has exactly the opposite. Right? Okay. He, uh, <clears throat> he sees one day that he feels more in love with Susan than he was yesterday. Hey, does this make him happy? Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. Why? It makes Y prime more negative. Why? Because all he can think of is that, my God, suppose I, I'm, more, I'm in, re, really in love with this girl, but suppose I marry her, you know. Oh, my God. 40 years of seeing the same person at breakfast all the time. I must be crazy. Uh, and so, uh, so it goes down. All right. So here's our neurotic model. And the question for differential equations is, what do the solutions to that look like? In other words, how does, in fact, their love affair go? Now, there's a reason why the writers picked that model, as you'll see. Uh, it means they were able to get a year's worth of episodes out of it. And why is that so? Uh, well, let's solve it. Uh, the characteristic equation is lambda squared. The trace, the matrix that governs this system is A equals 1, 2, negative 1, negative 1, right? The trace of that matrix, the sum of the diagonal elements, is 0. So there's the 0 lambda here. The determinant, which is the constant term, is negative 1 minus 
negative 2, which is plus 1. So the characteristic equation by calculating the trace and determinant is lambda squared plus 1 equals 0. Ta-da! The eigenvalues are plus a minus i. Now, you don't have to pick both of them because one will lead to uh, a set of the, essentially the same so the, ne the negative one will lead to essentially the same solutions, but with negative signs. So either one will do, just as when we solve second-order equations. The system for finding the eigenvectors, but we're going to have to accept a complex eigenvector. What's the system going to be? Well, I take the matrix and I subtract i. So we'll use i. Subtract i from the main diagonal. So the system is 1 minus i times x times a1 plus 2a2 is 0. And let's, for good measure, write the other one down, too. It is negative a1 plus minus 1 minus i. OK? Minus 1 minus i. a2 is 0. OK, then uh, what's the solution? Well, you get the solution by the usual way, let's take a1 equal to 1. Take a1 equal to 1, then what's a2? a2 is 1 minus i divided by 2 from the first equation. So the solution, the complex solution, is 1, one minus i over 2 times e to the it. Now you have to take the real and imaginary parts of that. OK, now this is the only part which technically I would not trust you to do without having someone show you to do it. Uh, what do you do? All right. You have to, well, of course, you know how to separate the real and imaginary parts of that. It's the first thing. To separate the vector, I don't know how to explain this. Just watch. The real part of it is 1, 1 half. The, uh, is that negative? It should be negative 1, so minus this plus that. Because I didn't put it on the right sign. OK, so it's minus a half uh, plus i times 0, 1 half. Anybody want to fight? 1 plus i times 0 <laughs> minus a half plus a half times i. OK, so how I did that? OK, well, you do these problems, you do it the same way. But don't ask me to explain what I just did. Uh, so here it's cosine t plus i sine t. And so the only things is to take the real. Let's take, beg pardon, question is something wrong? OK, the real part. So the real part will give me one solution. The imaginary part will give me another. Since I have a limited amount of time, let's just take the real, calculate the real part. What is it? Well, it's this. It's 1 minus a half times cosine t. Who I squared is negative 1. So minus uh, uh, 0, 1 half, the negative 1 from the i squared times sine t. Now, what solution is that? That is, so this is x, y. So what it is is x equals, take the final step. It doesn't have to look like that. x equals cosine t. Do you see that? x equals cosine t plus 0 times sine t. What is y? y is minus a half times cosine t minus a half times sine t. Cosine t plus sine t. Now, you may have the pleasure of showing. Eliminating x, eliminate t, you get a quadratic. This is a quadratic polynomial in uh, x and y equals 0. This is an ellipse. As t varies, you can see this repeats its values at intervals of 2 pi. This gives an ellipse. And if you want to use the little program, computer program, that linear phase, uh, this isn't in the assignment, but the ellipses look like this, and they go around that way. And that's the model of George and Susan's love. 
X, Susan, Y, George. They go round and round in this little love circle, and it, it stays on for 26 episodes. <laughs>